Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, and in this video, I'll be working on the list function. What the list function is, it's basically the control function for the shape. In the last video, we made the shapes, which is the beginning shape that's going to come up, and I'll show you in the app. So when we hit play, next shape is this tiny box, and shapes is this the shape that come came up in the bigger box and today we're working on the control function and the control function uses num1 to num4 num1 and num2 num3 num4 equals each of the box in a shape for example if we have the cube Num1 would be the top left, num2 would be the top right, num3 would be the bottom left, and num4 would be the bottom right. So it just corresponds to each of the blocks in the shape. Now that we did that, we can start programming. So the first thing we're going to do is put in our button name that we use for the controller. I set my right into right. I set left for left. I set rotate right. Called rotate right. And I name my down button down. If you name this something different, then you use that, but this is what I named the code. So the first thing we're going to do is the right button. And the right button is a if statement A equals 0. And then we'll open it up with the braces. If num1 all the way to num 150 by tens and num 2 all the way to 150 by tens num 3 all the way to 150 by tens so it should look like this num 1 does not equal 10 20 so where i got these numbers from is from the grid itself so I did this grid by 10. So the, the top layer all goes up to 10. And then because it's right, I put in the right. So right 1 is 10. Going down is 20 all the way to 150. The reason I did this code for the if statements it can't equal that because if you push the right button and it's on the line and you try to move, it's just gonna it can't go anywhere. So the whole program is gonna crash. So you have to have that safety feature that stops the player from doing that. And then there's a few more. I'm gonna add down array. And num1 plus 1. So num1 plus 1 allows it to move left and right. For example, if you're on B25 and you want to move right using the right button, you add 1 to each shape so it looks like it's moving to the right. B25 plus 1 is B26. That's why we added 1. And it will be the same for going left. It will be minus 1 because it's going left and it's going down not down going left so it'll be minus one and we have to make sure dot text equals blank the reason why we have dot text equal blank is because if it lands and it has a number inside of it 
then it's on a shape and it can't go through it because something will go wrong or it can't go through the right of it or the left of it or something will go wrong. And you do that with all the nums. And you add a bracy. After you check it, then you can add the num1 all the way to num4 plus 1. Then we'll go to left. Left is not using A, but it's using B. B equals 0. It also uses a if statement. But this time, other than using the right wall, it's going to use the left wall. The left wall starts with 1, and it adds 10. I'll show you right here. So, it starts with 1, and it adds 10. So, 1, 11, 21, 31, 41, 51, 61, 71, 81, 91, 101, 111, 121, 131, and 141. So it starts with 1 and then it adds 10 for the left side. The right side just starts with 10 and adds 10. And that's what it should look like. For the down array, just like the one on the right side, you're going to put minus 1 other than adding 1. And inside the braces, other than putting plus and equal, Less than equal 1, you're going to do minus and equal 1. Next, we're going to rotate. So, rotate is a little different than left and right. Left and right is easy. You go left, minus 1. You go right, plus 1. Rotate, you got to make sure all the shapes are correct. In rotate, we'll have a if statement. If down array plus one is blank, plus one blank, and minus one is blank. So we'll go here. It says down array num one. Plus one dot text equals blank and the rest of it. So if all of them equals blank, the surrounding areas equals blank, then you can change it and rotate it. If it doesn't, it doesn't work. For example, down array num one plus one equals blank, num one minus one equals blank, num one plus ten equals blank, and num one minus ten equals blank. So, plus 10 and minus 10 just goes the one above it and the one below it. So, when it rotates, it wouldn't mess up anything above or below. Then we we'll have the braces. And then we have a when shape is. So, a shape is is a variable we use in the beginning to tell us what it really means. Because the code just can't tell us by itself. We, we write a program to tell us or a variable to keep track of it. So one shape is braces one all the way to seven. All the way to seven, and inside of one is if z equals zero. So b is left, a is right, z is rotate. So if z equals zero for one. Then if z equals zero, then num one can 
change, num2 change, num3 change. So this is what it changes. What changes? So if num one is pressed and the shape is one, then it will change from num one minus one, num two plus equals one. Num three is plus equals ten, num four is plus equals 10 and z equals 1. Then we have if statements. Else if statements. And else if statements are statements to see if anything goes wrong or what rotation is it on. So when z is plus 1, it changes the rotation of how it is. And this is for shape 1. You can pause the video and change it and i'm gonna start doing all of them and then right there you can pause it so you guys can copy it down the cube one is the easiest because you don't really have to do anything for the cube one and there you go This is what it should look like when it's finished. One is that, two is that, four is that. And each one of them has an else statement, else if statement, because something can change and then they have to flip it again. You can see at the bottom, at the else, it goes back to zero, so being able to rotate. Next thing I'm going to do is the last one was just the down. Down is going straight down and landing at the bottom. The going straight down, we're gonna need a while. So while x equals zero, we'll have array select previous one dot add down array num1 and you do it array dot collect previous one all the way to num4 each one will be plus 10 because it's going down so plus equals 10 and then you have a code. So this code is if down array num one a text equals one or down array num two equals one or down Ray num three equals one down array num four equals one or any of these one forty one one forty two one forty three so one forty one forty two one forty three is all the bottom row so it's this bottom row And then we put braces. Inside the braces, we have num1 minus equals 10, num2 minus equals 10, num3 minus equals 10. Thing if it is one of these, then you have to move it up by 1. Then we'll have x equals 1. And points plus equals 
five. So every time you land a piece, you get five points. After that, we have another if statement, which if down, not down, if a equals zero or b equals zero, and you're going to do this code. And make sure it's outside the down. We want it to loop it and make sure it's clean so the right and left button can be used multiple times. B equals zero and we have num1 plus equals 10. Num2 plus equals 10. Num3 plus equals 10. And num4 plus equals 10. Which this one does is it makes the shape keep going down. Then we have the arrays collect previous one collects the previous one from what it had all the way to num4, then you add it to an array. Array collect previous one and array. Then you put landing and color. So that's it for the video. And if you like the video, give it a like and subscribe. Bye.